वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे वी विल लर्न क्लास एट केमिस्ट्री चैप्टर सल्फर एंड दिस इज पार्ट टू सो इन दिस पार्ट वी विल लर्न फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज एक्स्ट्रा टेरेस्ट्रियल प्रिजेंस ऑफ सल्फर The presence of sulfur has been identified in other planets, meteorites. Sorry, meteorites and interstellar clouds. The core, sorry, the core of Mars. Mars consists of iron sulfide. The atmosphere of Venus has sulfur. in the form of so2 gas it has also clouds of sulfuric acid containing droplets of sulfuric acid next is association of sulfur with life association of sulfur with life small amounts of sulfur are needed for plants and animals like in plants animals it is found also sulfur is found in garlic onion cabbage soya bean fish egg mustard dairy products and meat some important nitrogenous compounds such as first insulin of pancreas and second antibiotics like penicillin penicillin consists of sulfur next scientists have recently come across life around active volcanoes at sea bed at a temperature of 600 degree celsius this life form is sulfur based next short topic is herman fresh herman fresh a crazy miner can there be any idea crazier than the hypothesis so this hypothesis is mining an element present at a depth of around quarter kilometer by melting it first inside the earth and then bringing the molten element on the surface the hypothesis is appeared the hypothesis appeared to be crazy enough not to work but it was not so far for a herman fresh an american chemical engineer to prove this point he performed a unique and daring experiment in the middle of a louisiana swamp using a set of pipes he successfully brought out sulfur in molten state from the earth to the surface this process is called fresh process and is used even today so we'll learn this process now the main topic is extraction of sulfur sulfur extraction of sulfur so there are total two 
methods two ways for the extraction of sulfur so first method first way is sicilian process cc lian process and second is fresh process itself fresh process in first method the method of extraction is the crude sulfur is dug out and filled with air gaps in the brick kilns having a slope like this this is the wooden mold this is the wooden mold i'll write as the i'll write it like wooden mold w n this after that here this is the powdered sulfur powdered sulfur next this in this this spaces are air space this spaces are air space and this molecules are this molecules or this surface are crude sulfur the crude sulfur is covered with powdered sulfur and is ignited ignited the heat melts the crude sulfur below which it flows down the slope and is cooled in wooden molds some drawbacks some disadvantages are there or the advantages it is first point 33% sulfur is lost in burning as fuel second point sulfur obtained by this process is 95% pure so further purification is needed process is not continuous and a lot of labor is required in rearranging the kilns next is fresh process method of extraction sulfur is mined as a very unique way it is found at 200 to 300 meter below the earth's crust it is brought to the surface by a system of three concentric pipes stuck into the earth in this process the element is melted first inside the earth and brought into the surface in the molten state the three concentric concentric pipes p1 p2 and p3 are arranged like this first of all this is molten sulfur ms molten sulfur then the wider the most wider pipe is arranged then after that the smallest is arranged in all 
and then the middle one is arranged like this this is this wider the most wider is p1 pipe this the most smallest is p2 pipe and the middle one is p3 pipe after that here the dots like this are the superheated water this level is sulfur bed sulfur bed here it is compressed air ca that is compressed air and molten sulfur is there through pipe 3 molten sulfur the role of each pipe is explained the role of first pipe p1 is that water at 170 degree celsius sorry 170 degree under pressure is passed through it it melts the sulfur present in the bed p2 use is Compressed air is blown through it which forces the molten sulfur to rise up through the pipe 3. And the pipe 3's role is that melted sulfur rises and comes to surface through P3. Now the advantages of the process is Sulfur of 99.5% purity is obtained and therefore further purification is not required. Second point is process is continuous and permanent and requires no rebuilding. I hope you have understood till this. For any queries and doubt you can join the telegram link given in the description of this video. Like this is the foundation of class 8, we have covered the foundation of class 7th too. The links are given in the description, please go and check out. In this part we have learned many things, in part 3 also we will learn more things. In part 3 we will try to learn allotropy of sulphur, then crystalline forms of sulphur, Uh, in next part we will learn the all crystalline forms of sulfur. I hope you have understood this part. Let's meet in part 3 with new information. I hope you have understood. Thank you for watching.